Good afternoon. Gorgeous day. Wonderful music. <laughs> I'm uh, Dr. Ian McLean, uh, Director of Clinical Radiology. Uh, I want to welcome everybody. Uh, Palmer College of Chiropractic thanks you all for joining us for our clinic induction ceremony. This ceremony signifies the hard work, the dedication our students have done during their pre-chiropractic and chiropractic academic coursework. Today we welcome you to the clinic education portion of your time here at Palmer College. Your mentors, our clinicians, please stand up. These doctors of chiropractic are here to guide you through our clinical education and prepare you for your future in our profession. We look forward to watching you progress. Faculty, please be seated. It is my honor to welcome to the podium Dr. Roger Hines, your faculty advisor. Dr. Hines, a native of St. John's, Newfoundland, probably not entirely his fault, was in private practice in Glasgow, Scotland before returning to Davenport to teach, us, uh, teach at his alma mater. He is a professor who has been teaching technique, philosophy and history at the college for over two decades and has been the recipient of numerous teaching awards. He leads the Palmer Foundation for Chiropractic History and functions as the college historian. He is a frequent contributor and a reviewer for multiple chiropractic peer-reviewed publications. Dr. Hines also serves the profession by serving as the Executive Director of the Association for the History of Chiropractic and is now the Peer Review Chair for the ACC Research Agenda Conference. And apparently, at the end of the notes here, is written, he is Dr. McLean's favorite chiropractor. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, Dr. Hines. <laughs> Well, good afternoon. Um, dearest students of class 233, fellow faculty, administrators and cherished family members and guests in attendance today, I cannot more humbly state what a great honor it is to be invited here today by Dr. Stick and Besh to receive this coveted Lifetime Achievement Award. It is a great joy to know that the decades of excellence in teaching the next generation of chiropractors does not go unrecognized. <laughs> Hold on a second, that's not what this is. Um, is this is the clinic induction ceremony. All right. Um, okay. Uh, I had another one in case this is, you know, okay, so. Anyway, as we learned in philosophy class, we have the ability to adapt. One of the unexpected outcomes of my career has been that I've got a reputation for being able to write a reasonable speech uh, so I hopefully won't let you down. Class 233, it turns out I've actually been asked to come talk to you today uh, and pretty much to delay the proceedings of the white coat ceremony by a solid five to ten minutes. No worries, I, I won't take too long. Um, for those of you in class 233 who don't know me, I'm your class advisor. <laughs> thanks, thanks for stopping by my office. Um, and by the way, I had a great time at the halfway party. No wait, I wasn't invited. <laughs> Thanks, Jenny. Um, so does this event have any real meaning? Are we looking for meaning and where there is none? Is this just a symbolic event? I would answer, absolutely. This is nothing but symbolism. But what is symbolism? Symbolism can mean an event to which an extraordinary meaning or significance has been attached. And this is exactly that. Have you graduated from anything? Solid nope. But is it that you're simply going to be spending increasing amount of time on the east side of Brady Street rather than the west side? Is it that you have the ability to spend more time looking fly in some white jacket that is totally fire, Gucci or something? I don't know what any of those, <laughs> any of those terms mean. I have a teenage daughter. Um, so the coveted white jacket, what does it really symbolize? It symbolizes knowledge. It symbolizes ability. 
your ability to be an active participant in the life and health of patients. That is some pretty important symbolism. I would be remiss to not let you know that I am not just a technique instructor, but also a plus size model and history nerd who teaches chiropractic history and the history of health sciences in undergraduate studies. Therefore, I cannot pass up on the opportunity to explain to you the, the actual origins of your clinic jacket. It is a long history that can be traced back to the Chirurgia Magna, written by French surgeon Guy de Chaliac back in 1316. You see, back then, surgery was not a branch of medicine equal to other specialties. It was challenged to be considered a serious science. There were levels and ability associated with a doctor's robe or jacket. The lesser trained doctors wore shorter jackets, while the doctors with higher level of education and experience wore the longer ones. So yes, uh, today, the white jacket you will receive will be of the shorter variety. If there are staff doctors uh, wearing longer jackets in clinic today, you might notice that their jackets are longer than yours. They have more education. They have more experience. That goes all the way back to the 14th century. The symbolism behind your jacket predates the freaking bubonic plague. How cool is that? I know some of you are thinking, hey, that's really interesting. Well, others are thinking, eh, why don't you just stick with your plus size modeling career? So, we now know that there's a long history of the clinic jacket and its symbolism is associate, associated with it is very important. I said that the jacket is a symbol of knowledge. Remember, yours is a short variety, which means you don't know everything, but you have the capacity to apply what you have learned. Suddenly, those NMS tests are going to have real applicability. That case history and those physical exam procedures you did in your, uh, on your classmates have real implications for the course of care patients will receive. As I am involved with various chiropractic organizations outside of Palmer, I'm, I've often been asked by colleagues at other educational institutions, what do you teach at Palmer? And I often respond, I primarily teach driver's ed. <laughs> I do this for two reasons. One, it confuses them which amuses me. <laughs> and two, it's accurate. I primarily teach techniques, so I do teach students to put their hands on 10 and 2 uh, and, you know, check the mirrors and get out and walk around the car, make sure everything looks good, uh, and then we, you know, do a couple laps around the parking lot. But things are changing for you, right? So um, you're going to be putting on a white jacket. So suddenly, instead of just driving around the parking lot, you're going to put on your white jacket and that car is going to jump the curb right into a busy highway. Your hydro flask is going to roll under your brake pedal. Uh, suddenly there's going to be two screaming kids and a slobbering dog in the back. And, and there's going to be some staff doctor sitting next to you in the passenger seat with a long white jacket yelling at you to gun it. Or at least that's how it's going to feel for a while. All right? But you know something? That's all right. That's because that's part of the process. That is part of what makes Palmer graduates the best chiropractors in the world. Keeping with the driving analogy, because I have a boss that loves transportation analogies. Students, do you remember being nervous the first time you took a car onto a busy street? Do you remember that? Okay. How about now? Do you guys even remember driving here today? I'm reasonably sure that many of you didn't check the mirrors and your tire pressure before starting off this morning. Uh, many of you probably drove with a coffee in one hand and your cell phone in the other and stared the car with your knees, right? Were you nervous? Probably not, right? When you actually graduate from Palmer College, we sincerely hope that you can, do, you can have the same level of confidence you did driving here today. Not that Palmer College of Chiropractic is branch campuses, Palmer Board of Trustees Administration faculty endorse driving with your knees, um, but you get the point, right? Um, so I said the jacket is a symbol of knowledge. I also said the jacket is a symbol of ability. And I also slipped in there that Palmer graduates are the best chiropractors in the world. Palmer graduates are the best because of their ability. After we graduated, my wife and I moved to Scotland to practice, and we were part of a large clinic system of about 13 clinics. We had doctors that graduated from every major chiropractic college pass through that system. Without reservation, 
I will say that Palmer graduates were, the, were, uh, were better equipped to engage in clinical chiropractic than any other uh, graduate from any other chiropractic college, period. I do not pander. I truly believe that. When I'm asked what makes a Palmer graduate great, I say it is the culmination of a great education. You will be surprised what things you learned that you thought were trivial when you learned them, they actually turn out to be very useful in practice. I'll admit to you, uh, you'll probably not be asked by patients if succinate goes to fumarate to malate to axiloacetate or anything, but you know how the process fuels the cells, right? Um, and perhaps I'm showing a little bit of my technique bias here, uh, but the public does seek Palmer graduates for their confidence and ability to adjust the spine. It is an art. It is difficult to master. It is rewarding when you do so. Keep at it. I and others are here to help. I actually spend more time answering questions from graduates uh, than students in my own class. So guess what? Learning is a lifelong process. If the symboli symbolism behind the jacket actually holds true, the longer the jacket, the more learned the doctor. I sincerely hope that you continue to hone your skills, continue to learn throughout your career to the point your jacket gets so long you're tripping over it. Fledgling chiropractors, enjoy your clinical experience. Bring the love to your knowledge and ability in your Superfly clinic jacket. Thank you. Your academic time here at Palmer College is a rigorous one. I welcome Academic Dean Dr. Michael Tuning to the podium to address students. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First off, I think it is important to understand that we have an, a rigorous academic program, especially in these first six trimesters. And an important piece of getting through these initial trimesters as well as the rest of your experiences here is the support system that you have. And I'd like to first recognize those that traveled here today, family and friends. Thank you very much for being here. Let's give them, recognize them. It's an honor for me to be here today to represent the academic faculty members that have been with you every single day through your experiences here. And I think at this point I want to make sure and ask you the question and have you reflect on this as to what matters most. What matters most. And that phrase and what it stands for, what matters most, is at a point where it's changing for you. What matters most is going from what's on the gross anatomy exam. What content do I have to know for this quiz? What's going to be on the next practical? To now, what matters most to the patient here in front of me. You're prepared for that. You've spent a long time studying this. You've spent a long time working with each other and growing and getting better every day. You're ready. Ready to do this. And with that, I would like to present these students to you, Dr. Besh, the Executive Dean of Students. Congratulations, uh, Executive Dean of Clinics, excuse me, Dr. Besh. You made it. You've made it. You're getting ready to cross over into clinics. Such a cool thing. In fact, for the, the gentlemen sitting up on the, on the stage, the doctors, Dr. Stick, Ms. Schultz, who works in the clinics, this is one bright looking group here. My gosh, we probably should turn the lights down. You guys are just shining and beaming. It's so fabulous to see. Uh, you've made it to this next stage. All that hard work in your classes. You, you know, you go all the way back to grade school where you actually had to learn how to line up. See how it played today? It worked out really well, <laughs> you know, getting back into it. But first, I would like to thank Dr. Tuning and his team, his faculty. They have really worked hard to drill all this into you. And they want to make sure that you're, you're, you're ready and you're prepared. And they did a fabulous job. And just know, they're not done with you. Even as you get into clinic or when you graduate, 
all of us on, our, on the clinic, in the clinics, in the academic side, we're all there for you as, as mentors. We want to make sure that you know that, that you're, you can give us a call anytime. Dr. Hines alluded to that with the graduates who call him. Uh, wow. Just so you know, we are vested in your success. We want to make sure that you get out of here and graduate and are doing fabulous. But before we proceed, I just want to do a little uh, housekeeping procedural stuff that's going to happen. Not so much for you all, because we've been over it. It's more for them, for your guests and that, so they know what's going to be happening. First, as Dr. Uh, Hines was telling you, your white coat has a symbol to it. Purity, knowledge, ability, you know, community health, working with that. That's why we utilize that white coat. Then we also have the badge. That badge is your driver's license, as he was talking about. Make sure you always have that. That's what allows we induct you into the, the uh, uh, program with that. So what will happen is I will have Dr. Stick, I'll ask her to present class 233 for induction into clinics. She'll be dismissing the students. They'll get up, line up. They'll come around and Miss Tara Schultz, our Senior Director of Operations, who's painstakingly learned every pronunciation of your names, will be calling. You'll come up on stage. Dr. Pavlicek will put the white coat on you. You'll proceed over to me in the middle of the stage. I'll clip your badge on that says you're in inducted into the clinics. We'll get pictures, all that fun stuff. And then as you exit the stage, Dr. Hines has a little gift of appreciation from the clinics for you. No, it's not a new water bottle, but it's a pin that you can put on your jacket. This is some fun stuff there. And then we'll, we'll go from there. So, um, Dr. Stick, can you please present class 233 for induction into clinics?
Jinma.
rule.
Lacey Royce. Bye. 
class 233. Let me be the first to welcome you to clinics. Welcome. I'd also like to thank your family and friends and your guests who have all come here today driving on this beautiful day in Iowa can be a rarity so it's kind of nice lately it's been beautiful so welcome all of you if you could stand up face them let's thank them 